This is Twit. Fortnite's Android beta now available for non-Samsung phones. Boy, that was a brief exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, this is the one that you have to sideload. Uh, Epic says we're not going to offer it on the Google Play Store. Is that and and so I, I, we never talked about that part of it. Is it just because Epic is cheap? Yeah, is it? Yeah. Is that it? They don't want to give Google their thirty percent. They but have they to give, give it, it to Apple. To, they have to. There's no choice. There's no side loaning on iPhones. Oh, so they're okay. Because yeah, this whole story confused me, and I didn't want to think about it. I think that. Yep, I agree. The. I don't even think this is an uncharitable way to interpret it. I think the only interpretation is Epic doesn't want to give Google its 30% as, you know, every app on the Play Store does. Android does allow you to, you know, there's that switch in your security settings that turns off the requirement that you download from the Play Store. It lets you to, to download from third parties. Uh, in recent versions of uh, Android, it switches back on. You switch it off for one download and it switches back on, which is a good thing because... Basically, Epic is, Epic's greed is in the face of the security of users. Because while sideloading from Epic's is not a bad thing, what if some what if some malicious website puts up a Fortnite APK and says, right. "Get it here," and you download it, but it's not Fortnite; it's malware. And right. this is a bunch of. I mean, this is a kids play this game, and kids. I mean, good lord, if you've ever seen like a teenager, uh -huh. a middle school kid's computer, it is it is not pretty. Oh, I so. know. I, I have a teenager and I have and he malwared it many, many times. Um, we actually, I think we've kind of got it pretty well locked down now. I haven't had problems in a while. I just yeah, cross right. your fingers. It was training. It was simply saying, Michael, before you download something, you, you need to check with me really to make sure because some of these sites you're getting stuff from are not safe. And he's really good. He actually now says, okay, I want to download Five Nights at Freddy, the fan fiction version. Is it okay to get this? And I'll go look at the site and make sure it's okay before he does. And how often is it? Is it uh, malware? You know, it's usually not malware. It's usually adware, mm -hmm. right? It's, and it's spyware and stuff like that. It installs, you know, things like Ask Toolbar and stuff. Stuff that you really don't want to yes. do just because it bogs it down. But it's not yeah. technically malware. And yeah, my my daughter, I have trained her like. Back in the Minecraft days was a wonderful intro to, yeah. hey, let's talk right. to me before you download but, those mods. But, but that's isn't that the argument for a parent being involved in this? And unless a yeah, kid no, is it's like, really important. Unless a kid's really unruly, then there's other ways around it. It's a great thing to do. You have the conversation and a good kid, any, any normal kid will say, well, I want to keep my computer usable. So they'll ask. Yeah. Minecraft mods was a big source of problems for Michael. Yeah. But yeah. it worked, right? It did. I mean, yeah. yes. And although now, whenever any weird box comes up, even if it's just like a normal, like, do you want to load the Windows update? She, she doesn't have Windows updates, but it's you know, good for she her to comes check. She's, I don't mind. She's like, ah, I don't mind either. Yeah. I just think it's kind of cute. Well, and it helps and, that you have that rack behind you that you can torture her on. That is not a torture rack. <laughs> I know what it is. Huh. It's a Pilates machine. If this were a different show, I would tell you all about the crazy class I took, but I'm not going to. I have a, a, a Cadillac reformer uh, at home. And you know what I love? Do you have the springboards that you can jump on it? The jump board? Yeah. Yeah, I love the jump board. It's fun. It's so much. I think we talked about that before. It's really fun. <laughs> Jeff is like, what is happening? <laughs> Jeff is exactly the person who should be doing Pilates, by the way. Oh, you should, Jeff. You would love it. It would be so good for you. It's good. And you can be crazy kinetic, like competitive, too, if you want. It's good for uh, elderly people. Okay, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I include myself in that, since we're the same age. Uh, no, I, I try, because you want to keep balance and flexibilities, like, starts to go as you get older. And this is, and you start falling in your head. That was cruel, Leo. <laughs> that was. I'm like, wow, I'm, normally I'm those comments my... come from me. I'm taking my leave because the pain is coming up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. God. So you still have a headache from it? No, it's just the pain of the thing. It's been 12 hours. Oh my I God. also banged up my arm and my leg. And oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just a klutz. No, a Pilates klutz. would help. Yeah. I'll, fi I'll find ways to sprain something in Pilates. And this, I, I, hear the, I hear the native sounds of Times Square. Oh, sorry, Square. New York. <laughs> Google, uh, according to a Sarah Perez at TechCrunch, 
will lose about $50 million in fees with Epic's move in one year. Let us just note, if we may, for one moment, that as you did a moment ago, Apple does not allow this. Google does. does. Google is a more open system. That's right. Below Europe. That's right. And Google's doing, I think, a good thing, which is when you search for Fortnite, I guess this is good. What do you think? It's the first time Google's ever done it, according to TechCrunch. You will get a search result that says Fortnite Battle Royale by Epic Games is not available on Google Play. So don't download what you see. Yeah, this is this is great. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. And then I wonder if, boy, you know, the right thing to do would be to ha there have a link to the official download. I don't know if they'll do that. Well, I yeah. Would I mean, I would. I don't know if I would do that either. I'd be like, screw you. And no, no, I know no. Yeah, exactly. I know. But the right thing to do would be have that link so that people at least will get it from the official oh. site. See, see, they do the right thing, and then you say, "Well, it's not enough right. You got to be more right." They're a company. You've got to turn the other cheek and be it the better person. It costs them nothing oh, to put that link Jesus. there, and it makes their users more secure. It costs them fifty million dollars. They already lost yeah, the money. It's it, already done because it enables the next guy to do the same trick. Oh, I might yeah. encourage people. If, I guess. Yeah, if other people yeah, would do that. Yeah. I still think you should think about the users. Consider the they, users. They, they are thinking about the users. That's why they put the link in there to explain what's right. happening. Okay. I mean, you can turn the other cheek. You don't have to bake a cake and serve it to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well said. Too long for a show title, but very nice. <laughs>